Yes. Yes, Will Hunter Smart. Looking good. Oh, hello, some Nicks. I was just getting myself ready for uh, this video. Uh, sadly, since uh, last weekend, my uh, hair and makeup team have, have gone on strike. Following their moment of minor celebrity, they're demanding better pay and conditions. And uh, while negotiations take place, it's up to me to look good for you. I hope you don't mind these terrible attempts at humour. Uh, I have no illusions about my comic capacity, but I hope you accept the spirit in which these are offered. I have spent summer today preparing my sermon for Palm Sunday. And uh, in the passage, uh, John chapter 12, just after Jesus rides into Jerusalem, uh, some people come up to Philip, one of Jesus' disciples, and they ask him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. And Philip takes this request to Jesus. And Jesus says this. He says, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. And I'll be talking more about this on Sunday. But in essence, Jesus says that if you want to see me, you've come at precisely the right time. Because over the next seven days, I'm going to be revealed in glory. It's not a glory that you're expecting because just like a seed falling to the ground, I am heading for my death. It's glory through suffering. It's life through death. It's purpose in pain. But if you want to see me, see who I really am, what kind of king, what kind of God, then you've come at just the right time. Next week is Holy Week, beginning on Palm Sunday and the seven days leading through to Easter Day. And this is going to be a Holy Week unlike any other we have ever experienced. And we pray unlike any other we will ever experience again. But I want to urge us to make the most of this Holy Week, a week unlike any other. For all of us, our lives have been incredibly, suddenly restricted in ways that we couldn't possibly have imagined just a few weeks ago. And with that sadness and sorrow and pain and so on. But there is an opportunity here. An opportunity to travel through the events of the last week of Jesus' life. Perhaps in a way that we've never done before. And to see glory through suffering. Life through death, even purpose in pain. To see Jesus. Sir, they said, we want to see Jesus. And Jesus said, you've come at precisely the right time. Here at St Nick's, we're going to be producing some resources for Holy Week. A Holy Week prayer booklet with prayers and reflections for each day. Uh, a recording of the last week of Jesus's life from John's Gospel, uh, read by many different members of the congregation. Uh, there's going to be a Good Friday meditation. Uh, please use these or whatever else would be helpful for you to use each day. To make the most of this opportunity. I'm sending this out today on Wednesday so that we might look ahead, we might plan now at what to do when Holy Week begins, so that we might make the most of this opportunity to see Jesus in this Holy Week unlike any other. So let me pray. Sir, they said, we want to see Jesus. So Lord Jesus, as we prepare to travel with you on your journey to the cross and then the empty tomb, help us to see you more clearly, to love you more dearly and to follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. God bless.